Alright guys, and welcome to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the two things that really you can control and are in your favor in terms of the dating marketplace here in 2022, and they're quite simple yet very powerful that not too many guys are aware that they're giving it away uh, too easily and the first one that I'm going to talk about is your attention and hopefully by now you guys know that when it comes to attention for girls they value it they value it seek it a hundred times more than the average guy so when you're trying to date a girl especially at the beginning your attention is very critical and until the girl came out to see you on a date and up to the point until let's say you guys hook up your attention should be worth keeping um, I don't it doesn't have to be to a bare minimum but don't just easily flounder her and give your attention away especially if it's a girl who's not coming out with you on a date who's not really responding to your text messages or she's taking hours and hours and days and days to respond at that point we say you just have to withhold your attention until either she comes around or she's just going to flake off so until they until you guys hook up and you start seeing each other regularly in terms of the dating process at the beginning you have to keep your attention to minimal obviously as the guy you have to reach out you have to make the first move and you have to initiate but then if the girl is not really reciprocating or if she's not really agreeing to see you that's where you stop giving your attention away so easily and you just withhold it until if she ever comes around so that's one that's your attention uh, number two is your abundance mindset and when it comes to the abundance mindset this is this is super critical um, if you guys ever ask a girl to see her phone and to see her inbox whether that's text messages or just her IG you'll be blown away by the amount of messages that she's getting and the amount of guys that are trying to talk to her, get her out, hook up with her, etc. That's why girls naturally have an abundance mindset. And that's why they so easily will just flake off and ghost you out of nowhere. Is because of the endless amount of options that they're getting pretty much on a, <laughs> on a daily basis. Whereas as a guy to have those kind of options, very rare probably you would have to be like a very very famous celebrity athlete to get like that type of attention but even then probably the average girl is probably getting more so as a guy in terms of like your abundance mindset you have to have the mindset that if this girl doesn't want to come out to see me then I'm going to stop giving my attention away and that I know that I'm going to go and meet somebody else because when you start to fixate on one girl then it happens to all of us that's when you'll start to see them naturally start to pull away and then that makes you chase even more and more whereas you should have the abundance mindset of making sure that you're having multiple options hopefully available for you to talk to to ask out and for you to date so that you're not too centered on one girl because as we all know, girls easily could just flake off the radar in a moment's notice. And as a guy, it's a lot harder for the average guy to get those type of options anywhere near as close as what the average girl is getting today as well. So how do you get the abundance mindset? One is through self-development, self-improvement, because when you feel good about yourself, then you know that you can go out and meet girls and this is not an overnight thing it takes time months years so self-development liking the way that you look um, being in a good mental space being happy with your life 
and uh, obviously your finances being on point along with you know having some decent social skills and then on top of that in regards to social skills going out talking to people knowing that on any given week I can go out talk to a few people get some numbers potentially get some more dates that naturally will lead you to a more abundance mindset and once you've dated multiple girls another key thing to point out to in regards to this abundance mindset is that then you're just going to clear quickly and clearly distinguish between a girl who's actually interested in you versus one who's not really maybe she's just using you for validation or for your attention as like a text buddy but not really having any attention um, any intention of uh, going out with you so when you are and when you have dated multiple girls that's going to give you the reference experience that's needed to distinguish between girls who are actually into you versus those who are just trying to get your attention to just to validate themselves essentially so the abundance mindset is something that it takes time um, for me it took a couple of years of just massive self development going out approaching hundreds thousands of girls going out on hundreds of dates and just really putting that work and effort both for myself in terms of the self-improvement and then also just dating a lot of girls just to get that experience and to get the experience in terms of knowing if I'm wasting my time with one or if she's actually interested and if I know that this one's going to be kind of a time waster I have the natural abundance mindset to go out and get some more numbers and meet some new girls who will actually be interested in me and surprisingly when you do have the abundance mindset girls most girls inherently know and how do they know that because you're not floundering floundering them with loads of text messages asking them out constantly where basically essentially you ghost them and the average girl is not really used to it so some of them actually do come back around not often or not all the time and sometimes they just don't care but some will and the reason being is because they know that either you moved on and or you're talking to other girls as well which is inherently attractive to a girl knowing that this guy talks to multiple girls that he's just not fixated on me so guys with that um, these are the two most important factors um, that I learned over the past four or five years in terms of the current dating market and I believe as each year passes on it's only getting worse so these two elements are going to be even more and more critical again your attention and your abundance mindset in order for you to help succeed in the dating market um, wherever you may be so guys with that um, I hope that was helpful uh, please comment down below if you agree or if you disagree share the video like the video if you found it helpful and again subscribe to the channel if you haven't already appreciate any support and again thanks so much for watching the video and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.